Two factors have changed a lot in recent years that now has more men asking themselves than ever, maybe I should retire in a foreign land. The first one is the whole condition of the dating realm in the West. It's pretty obvious at this point that finding just a sane, normal woman is like looking for a needle in a haystack. And in the process, not only do you have to put up with the drama and strange expectations of the women that are out there, but you also have to be on guard for legal liability. Everything from being accused of rape to being sued for some imaginary stress you gave a woman because you went out on a date with her a few times and it ended in a bad breakup. The second element that has changed is, of of course, the inflation and cost of living in the West. Even if you happen to have your home paid off, just the regular costs for the cost of living, such as groceries, medical insurance, car insurance, car maintenance, all these things have gone up in a drastic way. So now it's not surprising that a lot of men are looking around the world and saying, well, where could I get more bang for my buck or euro so that I can live far more comfortably with more money and savings and, as the icing on the cake, enjoy a far more robust social life dating women who are a bit more traditional and there's a wider spectrum on the age range than there is in the West, where typically you're expected to date roughly within five to seven years of your own age. I myself have been living in the Philippines since 2012, and I consider it the best decision I've made probably in the last 20 years. For me, it's been this amazing adventure, seeing new places, doing new things, dating a lot of women, younger women, older women, women that I thought beforehand were just completely out of my league became the norm. And after seven years of that, I met who is now my wife, wonderful woman, 25 years old, great cook, great companion, just everything that a man really is looking for. And life is good. Now, I will be the first one to say that the Philippines is not for everyone. In fact, living abroad is not for everyone. It is not for the timid, it is not for the fearful, and it is definitely not for those who do not exercise some sense of street smarts. The decision to become an expat is a decision to launch yourself physically and in many other ways right out of your comfort zone. And now you need to be resourceful. You need to be paying attention to details. You need to have good planning skills, whether it's planning your flight itineraries, your lodging, where you're going to get clean water, where you're going to go for medical care in case something goes down. And for just those reasons alone, there are many men who really should just stay in their home country, where they have a network of family and friends, they have a social program of some kind and services so that if money becomes an issue, they can always, as a citizen, apply for those type of social benefits that are available. Not everybody is cut out to be an expat. Now, for those who are level-headed, they can do things like plan out their flight itinerary and their lodging and all the logistics of adjusting to a new city. This type of man will find the Philippines or just living abroad, whether it be Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, wherever. It's not so much an inconvenience. It's actually something of a welcome challenge. I know that for me, from the day that I first landed in the Philippines, it was like my brain was reactivated to a whole nother level. I was observing everything. I was learning something new about the environment every single day. I was learning to do the conversion with the money. There was so much to learn, and I enjoyed that. It brought adventure back into my life. In fact, I look back and I wonder if I really knew what adventure was until I moved out to the Philippines 
to live abroad. I remember back when I was in my 30s, after having getting divorced and dating a few women and pretty much all of those ending like a complete train wreck, I nonetheless held out that in life, there has to be somebody I could love that would, in a healthy way, love me back. I never lost sight of that belief, despite the toxicity of the dating realm that I was engaged in in Southern California. And one day, it just kind of came to me and I realized there is no love without risk. Years later, I ended up reading something along the lines of anything worth possessing requires effort. And whether you're talking about finding a true, loving, healthy relationship in your life, or you're talking about having a vibrant, active life of adventure that every day you don't know what's going to happen in a good way. All you know is today is going to be an exciting day. You're going to see new things. You're going to do new things. You're going to meet people you never otherwise would have met flirting and dating with women that 20 years ago it just never would have entered your mind and yet there you are sitting across a restaurant table or walking hand in hand down the beach with some beautiful woman and you are the center of her attention but I will say again none of this comes without risk you need to have your finances in order you need to enter this other country whichever one you choose with a mindset that you need to be observant of your surroundings. You need to be ready to adapt and change the way you do things so that you're not going against the flow and creating your own problems, doing it the old way. And if you're willing to do this, you will reap the benefits. Not everyone that I have met over the years decides to move to the Philippines simply because he's looking for a relationship. Many of them do, but not all. I've spoken with men who have told me they were in the Philippines and they may be dated once in a while just because opportunity seems to throw itself in your lap. That's just how it is in the Philippines. But for the most part, they weren't out chasing women. What they wanted when they came to the Philippines was a peaceful life, a low stress life, doing the sort of things that they enjoy one guy, he moved out to Gomeris because he just wanted to fish the rest of his life. He was an avid fisherman, bought himself a boat, built a dock at the, the beach there where his home was. Another guy I know, he wasn't in the Philippines for women. He was very much into the sort of Makati lifestyle. That's where he lived. He enjoyed gambling. He really didn't feel the need for having a woman in his life. He just enjoyed the finer things of life and went to night nice restaurants and nice casinos and nice hotel rooms and gambled. And that's the sort of life he wanted. And that's the sort of life he had in the Philippines. I met another expat. Again, he had a girlfriend living with him, but in all reality, she made up maybe 10% of his time. If he wasn't sleeping or with her, his big passion was scuba diving. He was literally under the water every single day as long as he could. He never tired of it. He loved it. So my encouragement as well as my warning to any of you that are thinking of becoming an expat, take an honest assessment of yourself. Are you willing to adapt and change in order to better suit and live in your new environment? Are you willing to do that? Now that might mean giving up on some little luxuries that you've enjoyed all your life. Maybe you enjoy a good steak every now and then. Well, good luck finding that in in the Philippines unless you're willing to pay about $20, $30 for it. Also, are you willing to, in fact, are you eager to take on the challenge of thinking on your feet, of solving problems as they come up? Because when you're traveling and living in another country, we used to say there are no problems, there are only situations. But are you looking forward to solving these type of situations so that they turn out the way you want them to? Are you willing to become pretty sharp with your problem solving skills, your ability to read the situation, the self-discipline to not engage in every single thing that comes in your path? Because you're going to get tempted with a lot of stuff and some of that may not turn out very good for you. Sometimes you know this woman is not 
nothing but trouble, do you have the self-discipline to just walk away? Wait for a better one. And I'm telling you, there are plenty of other options in the Philippines when it comes to women. So maybe take a little time today, just kind of think about it. Does the idea of becoming an expat seem like the scariest thing ever and you can only see downside to it, well then don't do it. But if the idea excites you to actually be in an environment where your mind is vibrant again and you're doing and seeing things that you never before imagined you could, well in that case then maybe taking that jump and making those plans to become a full-time expat is what you should actually be thinking about. <laughs>